That's when it would have happened. Goodness gracious. Oh, let's see what we got next. All right, did y'all see the Bobby Altoff video? It's a really good podcast with... Um, it's Offset. a really good podcast. That's the name of it. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, I thought you meant like the quality. It was you quality thought, you episode. Thought, you thought I was gassing it up. I was about to say, um, like, are you okay? You got a white fetish now? <laughs> <laughs> so no, uh, Offset went on. It's a really good podcast, and this one was going really viral because Offset was like, he played the game. He played the game better than her. Yeah, you know, like yes. he, he had her feeling the awkwardness because. And he also, in him playing the game, he kind of said a lot of the things that people have been tweeting and stuff like that, where it's just like, it's like he alluded to your industry plan. You're just a plain white girl. How did, how did you even get here? I can't even Google you yet. And it's like he kind of, in his jokes or in his disses, addressed everything. Like, he dropped a little gem of truth. Yeah, he kind of went nugget. crazy. He kind of went crazy. Mm, it was, it was what, cool. It was being faithful to Cardi B does to you. It, it was, <laughs> yeah, allegedly. But you know, thing- if you ask Tasha K. Yeah, huh? <laughs> but <laughs> right, right. It, I don't know. Like it was, it was cool. It was just weird. Like I'm something good. weird about it's over. It it's just the, the the allure of it. The the allure. Not even, I think the allure in general for black and white people is just wearing off for Bobby Altoff in terms of like this awkward, this awkward, cool interview thing, I think it's just wearing off really quickly. I don't know. There's no, yeah, yeah. I don't know who's watching her. Like, are, who are the black children. people watching her? Children. I don't think it's just it's, black people. Yeah, bro. Yeah, like, it's those It's a people. certain demographic of niggas on TikTok. Yeah. Well, it's, and it's, you also got to remember her start was, she blew up on mom TikTok. That was why her TikTok initially blew up before the podcast. No. First, she married an important man. She married a millionaire. Who was, she who was so a, important that the niggas connected to Drake. Right, yeah, yeah. So and Universal Studios and shit. Then just, she made a mom TikTok. Then she made a mom. She had a baby, Nigga. made a mom TikTok, and she was popping. She got up to, let's just say 10 million. It might have been more, but I know yeah. she was like 10 million at least strong on TikTok. What, breastfeeding or just talking about, you know, mommy? It was a little bit of like... Mommy duties. It was just mommy duties. And, and on top of that, the awkward... Her awkward thing that she's still yeah. doing to this day, like so she's always had that as her stick. It, it was just in the mommy vor- It was just mommy TikTok first, though, mm-hmm. and then she started the podcast, and then it's a hell of a jump, and then blew up like crazy in like eight episodes or four episodes or some shit like that, and then got the uh, industry plan allegations. Mm-hmm. You know, people just started hating on her and just hating her crazy. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I kind of feel bad for it's a kind of burning out a little bit. It's burning out really quickly. As, as fast as it came up, it's burning out just as quick, I feel like. I feel bad for her a little bit because she got a lot of acclaim and notoriety before she got time to develop the skill. She barely got time. But it was like... Time to develop the skill? Yeah. What you, skill... Did she need to develop? Of interviewing and being a personality on a podcast? Nigga, that's... It. Her personality that you're seeing is the personality that she's you're supposed to be seeing. Yeah, but that was just some like real. I don't think this doesn't have real legs. Like when you curate cringe like that, there's no real longevity in it. Because nobody wants to watch that in long form. It's just another. It was a good idea. It's all designed to be clipped up. This is a clipped up podcast. Yeah, it's not good for long form at all. You're right. I don't see how you could sit down and watch this. He is. Nah, this I tried. Isn't... I tried to watch the Offset one. I saw 101 clips, of course. Yeah, but they were viral everywhere. I tried to watch the Offset interview. It's just it's hard to I watch. Ain't even, it for that I ain't one. even watched the clips for real. I don't even like. It's like, I she's cool to me. Right. Like I accept that she, she she's here. She blew up. Right. Right. But, right. Like, I'm not about to like sit here and watch her. Content. And just dive like, in and shit like, like that. Nah, yeah. I know what to expect. That's like, true. Why would I even it's the do same that? Thing every time. Yeah, and nah. it's it is. I don't know, man. It's lackluster. It's not even. I don't know. It's not that great. It's Bobby. It's like, Bobby. It's like, Bobby. It's Bobby. Like, it's Bobby. Bitch. I don't know why we can't just let her be mediocre in her little corner and the just reason, leave the, her alone. No, exactly. What? It's because niggas want the clout. Because what pissed me off is seeing Suki Hana. It's one, okay, it's one thing. The offset shit happened a little while ago. And it, it, I think it even, I remember there was like, the, you could see that they had done an interview before, felt like before the Drake thing even happened. Like, she'd been sitting on this for a while. Well, and uh, she'd been sitting on it for a while. She'd been sitting on it for a while. But, like, Suki Hana in the club, taking her to the strip club, 
It's like, what the fuck are you yeah. doing that for? And then, like, Sukiyana is the dancer. Like, why are you dancing? How? Shit. So you took her there for you, like, nigga, for what? you to work, and then her to stand on stage just like this. That's that shit is cr- that shit is weird, and it's like there was a tweet, and it was pretty much just like her whole shtick and how she blew up is being awkward, or specifically around black people, because when she's around white people, she's not awkward at all. Yeah, she's so, actually a normal. Yeah, she bitch. She's through. actually a exactly. Yeah. So the she fact tells that, jokes around Dave Portnoy. Right, exactly. So the fact that her whole thing is it's really being awkward around black people, and niggas are still fucking with her. It's like I don't blame Offset because I feel like she was sitting on her for a while, but Suki. Is the type of nigga that'll do anything for clout. You know what I'm saying? So and, the reason it won't stop and why we keep being bothered with it is because there's always going to be niggas like Suki. Su- Sukiyana. And I, I really want to like make it to that level of business just so I can understand. Because I feel like it has to be some white man tapping him on the shoulder like, hey, uh, hang out with this white bitch. You know, it's that I time. I don't think it's that. I think there's black people that understand the play and how she's using black people to act like an awkward white girl in black people's situations, that shit, that shit's knee slappers for the shit. for for the white TikTok fan base because oh my god, I'm awkward she, too. I never even dated a black guy. This is what it's like. She's, you know what I'm saying? Second, like, she's the second most marketable white woman behind Taylor Swift. Probably. Right. You know what I'm right saying? Right now is it right now? Yeah. Maybe a deal too. Taylor got Depends. the youth. She got the she got the young, the moms and the young moms. Yeah. Yeah. She's probably not even really that awkward. Like when the camera so, stopped rolling, she started dugging. Bro, we saw her with Dave Portnoy. Like we know she's not that awkward. You know what I'm she saying? She's probably easy to easy to flirt with. That type of bitch. Right. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Real agreeable. You can yeah. tell you by what some of her comebacks that she is kind of that. You know yeah, what I'm no, like, that. Man, come on. And then she's always like, so am, I, am I your type? I like am I your type? Like, that's like one of her questions that she's always asking in interviews, yeah. which has always been weird because she's been married this whole time. It's like, one of your main things is to ask rappers if they would hit pretty much. Or he like, should talk did. about that often. That's, that's one of her two go to questions, no matter what interview she does, if it's with a black person, it's, do you find me attractive? Am I your type? And how much money do you have? That's actually an everybody question. But yeah, those are her top two go-tos. It's like... Ain't no way she asked Mark Cuban, do you think I'm attracted? She asked in a slick way. I just watched this video. Sick. I can't remember. I just did, I did just watch this video. It's called like the rising, the skyrocketing, de- the fastest skyrocketing downfall of Bobby Altoff. Bitch had eight episodes. And they're pretty much saying like, if this doesn't continue in the next year, this will be the biggest a podcast has been in the fall and the quickest one has fallen off in history so far. Yeah, probably. I and I never even thought about it like that, but I was like, shit, yeah, because it looks like her flame is dying down already. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You got to leave it to a white woman to make that type of history. Yeah. And like to even call it a podcast, like, man, like what are we doing it? Nigga, you set the mics up. It's a podcast. We're it's, trying too hard is what we're doing. Yeah, we've always been trying we're doing too hard. Something That's else. what it comes down to. Yeah. Just be satirical and ask if you're attractive or not. Yeah, all these times. all these niggas have always just done way less. Yeah, and made it so much further than us. It feels like like that's just like the story of my life in entertainment. Like this hoe did a podcast with Mark Cuban on the floor. Yes, you know the audacity you have to have <laughs> to, put to invite Mark Cuban over, <laughs> right? And to be like, hey, you mind if we do this on the floor? I ain't got no chairs. I would man. never ask a billionaire to fuck his back up like that. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, she well, she hope. You know what I mean? She had no... She, her expectations went high enough. Yeah. And she blew the fuck up, which is just crazy. She needs some structure. <laughs> some guidance. But yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Offset kind of played it. But, yeah, I think the whole... inspiration. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's going to last too much longer. I wonder if she's just going to transfer into... She needs to trans, transition into just, like, white people and, like, moms and whatever white moms, white young moms watch, who is pretty much her core fan base... She needs to start interviewing those people, but honestly, the clicks ain't probably as good as when black people are around. Man, they're never gonna be as good when black people do it. Black people do things to the highest degree. Yeah, yeah. If like, we buy it, we buy four. Yeah. If we watch it, we send it to everybody we know. Right. I right. feel like we don't. Yeah, like we don't get people rich, but we give people cultural we significance. People, we get them. We get them stamped so crazy. Make them important. We, we make them cool to white people. Yeah, cultural like being. Yeah, like it's just. Yeah, she's out. She's literally out here getting her, her black cool card uh-huh. punched every time she does sits down with a black celebrity. Mm-hmm. 
She's getting black. And then she's Bitch even three away from getting a free yogurt. Exactly. And mm-hmm. and going to the strip club with Sukihana while Coochie she's sweat on there. She got the she got the bottom corner where it's like the bonus one where yeah. it's like, oh, you did hood shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 30 you, days straight. Yeah, like yeah. you yeah, you know what I'm she saying? She's gonna be 40 young famous. Yeah, yeah, so it's like, yeah, what's next is her going to a bodega and getting a chopped cheese with somebody with Cardi B or some shit. Yeah. They should make you a show of her just doing black shit. Yeah, that's but, the pivot. But you I don't. See, I don't want that would go crazy. But the thing is, I really, I really don't want her getting money that way. I would hate that. As but for, the thing for black, is, I would hate that for black people. Yeah. But the thing is, right? Like, it would be better that way because at least it's a show. Like, if you just drop that bitch in New York, like the most. Puerto Rican part of New York. Right, right, and right. And just film her. To the parade. That might be a good show. That would go crazier, actually. You get what yeah. I mean? Just, yeah, that's yeah. true. But it depends, though, because like what was exposed in that offset clip or the whole interview, she not built she's for not as funny or as witty as she needs to be. When somebody's clapping back. With yeah. real pressure in yeah. the moment. Yeah, she's for not. For two hours long or however long they filmed that I shit. I think it was only like an hour and a half or an hour and some change, but she she was folding. She, yeah. don't, got a, she don't got enough. She's she, not yeah. enough in the tank. It's not. She's not. She's not about it for real yet. She's a house mom. Of course, she's not about it. She, she, <laughs> or or she or she been bantering with other house. Moms, and where's this you know damn baby? Like, huh? So where's this baby at? I don't know. I don't know where the baby's at. I but can't I even mean, imagine her with a baby. I don't follow ball. her. I don't follow her on TikTok either. So it's like. And how I'm, old is this woman? She's only like twenty six. Twenty five. Like yeah, twenty five, twenty six. Her know. husband is her husband like thirty six, forty. I think he's got her by like five years. Only five years. I feel like she's with a nigga that's completely older than her. You know, we we have a little uh, snippet on LOY. You know, white women, I mean, white men marry their women very early. Yeah. I was, training, I was training with this one girl. She moved here from Michigan with her boyfriend. Bro, yeah. I'm like, she, old is she? And she was choosing on me. I'm like, bitch, goddamn. Nigga, well, that's she's from Michigan. She haven't seen they, an authentic nigga yet. They're secure in the family structure over there. That's, of course. That's of why course. they do that. You know, you date down or for for fertility. A She's with tech, a tech executive, executive named Corey. Uh, fuck Bobby's age. What's her husband's age? Corey Alto. I mean, I'm sure he's like, I'm sure he got about five years. I'm he's guessing, a tech executive. He's I'm, in his 30s. I'm, I'm guessing at least five years. He's, he's got in his 30s. But she's living a wonderful life. She's living a life. This is like self-actualized white woman. Shh. Accidentally get really, uh, really popular as some shit that you might not be the best at. Yep. Fuck this bitch. God damn it. About Never say, your nigga with legitimate claim and looking, influence. Looking up her nigga. Yeah, this who bitch, gives man. a fuck about her? Yeah, you see, that the Matrix got you, nigga. The Illuminati. <laughs> Whatever industry planted this bitch, nigga, she's running this episode. She's got it. Yeah. So we over here I mean, trying to figure out information about it. So I do wonder if um I do wonder what her what's gonna happen with Bobby next year. You know what I'm saying? You gonna forget about her. And then she gonna pop up like little. Tape. Honestly, I had already forgot about her. Like, Shaq did an interview. I was like, damn, I, I didn't even watch that shit. Yeah. And really, I didn't see that many clips going viral from it either. So I yeah. guess it wasn't one of the clip heavy ones. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and it's like, man, you don't. You gotta exist outside the snippets, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if you're only existing in the pockets of snippets, like you're only gonna be popping in the. Ex- in the fucking snippet lane. You're going to yeah. be fun size, and there's a lot of full course meals out here getting served. Yeah. Shout out to Bobby, man. She has wonderful jugs. <laughs> I wouldn't say wonderful, and I like how we always get to this at the end. Y'all They're always get to this. They're decent. I never go there. Y'all They're go moderately there. nice Somebody titties. agree with me on my point that me and Khalifa titties are overrated, and you was the one who was like, nah, me and Khalifa titties are amazing. They're revolutionary. Never said they was revolutionary. My titties <laughs> are crazy. My titty, good. My titties are great titties. They're, nobody said revolutionary. You said I don't even know what her titties look like, bro. Google them. The nigga, her titties are perfectly fine. Who are we talking about again? She's Me a porn star. I, be, yeah. I believe they're perfect. You know what I'm saying? That's they're what I'm saying. Like, they're surgically how, perfect. How could you hate on them? Them being perfect doesn't mean they're perfect. <laughs> Mia Khalifa titties. They can see this? Um, no. no. Those are perfectly nice titties. Nah, man. Yeah. I'm not digging it. Yeah, those are those are nice titties. Look at those. I mean, I've had, I've, I've had these titties before. You see that one in the middle? That's a perfect shot. Oh, well. What's wrong with those? Great volume, but, good nipple ratio. But in action, though, these are pictures in action. You get I, what I'm saying? They don't, they don't even look good in motion. It they feels don't look a little egregious action. to watch a complete scene on a podcast. 
Who gives a fuck? Looking right. at the titties. All right, yeah, let's know. get off the titties. All right, so let me hit the button. <laughs> <laughs>